Hey, Tanya TKO here. Hold on, let me try to fix myself. Okay. Some people are surprised when they see, you know, when they see me sad or I do, you know, I'm human. I, I have my ups and I have my downs. And this is part of what, you know, was making me a little bit sad. Is that, you know, there are some people out there who are not happy. I wanted to, I wanted to talk with you guys about emotional vampires and I wanted to read this Zen story to you guys and I'll put the uh, the link on the side for you all so that you can go there and also read some Zen stories for yourself and I want you to come back and you know tell me what you gathered from some of the stories tell me which one was one of your favorite ones and this one is called Obsessed and it says two traveling monks reached a river where they met a young woman weary of the current she asked if they could carry her across one of the monks hesitated, but the other quickly picked her up onto his shoulder, transported her across the water, and put her down on the other bank. She thanked him and departed. As the monks continued on their way, the one was brooding and preoccupied. Unable to hold his silence, he spoke out, Brother, our spiritual training teaches us to avoid any contact with women. But you picked that one up on your shoulder and carried her. Brother, the other monk replied, I set her down on the other side while you are still carrying her. And I'm going to give you guys a second to think about that. Okay, seconds over. And I want you to kind of think in your mind what I mean by that when I talk about emotional vampires. I wanted to just give you guys some insight. There are certain people out there who are unhappy. Their job might not be going right. Maybe things that happen in their life happen in ways that they felt it shouldn't have happened. Maybe they're not getting what it is that they need at home. Maybe they didn't get what they needed at, at home as a child. You know, maybe they feel they're not getting paid enough. Maybe they have a whole list of insecurities and all types of problems that might be bothering them. There are people out there who are lacking and they have this emotion, emotional dearth. So what they want to do is they feel no greater pleasure than to bring you down, right? And I just wanted to say that when you dwell on people, like when there's somebody who does something that, you know, that bothers you, you know, you can dwell on them. And if you dwell on them, what you're actually doing is you're carrying them around. You're carrying around their bad mood. You're spending time thinking about them. And the thing that's really sad is that we have so many things that we could be doing, so many wonderful people in our lives who care about us, and so many things that are going right. And if we take time away from concentrating on the things that are going right to spend all of this time concentrating on somebody who purposely wants to ruin our day, you know, in essence, you're, al you're giving them power, you're allowing them to ruin your day, you're carrying them, and you're letting them suck your energy out. So do yourself a favor. Stay away from emotional vampires. Get them out of your life. Avoid them. Don't let yourself get sucked into it. Don't let yourself get sucked down. And I wanted to, to end on the note of saying happiness is a choice. You choose to be happy. Subscribe today. Be sure to leave a comment. Rate it now. TanyaTKO.com You know how men are in the very beginning when they just like you so much. They'll do anything, right? <laughs>